Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully added a uh, functionality to add products uh, in our transaction module and display it in our data grid view and also calculate a soft total. Uh, in this episode, we will calculate a grand total based on discount and tax and we will also calculate uh, amount to be returned to customer uh, when the customer uh, pays uh, the bill so without further delay let's move to our tutorial so first of all we'll need to open our project so i'll go to my project folder and open my solution file which is an or solution so this was our form this is our form and we have successfully added uh, products in data grid view and calculated subtotal as well now we need to calculate uh, the grand total based on discount and vat so, and discount and vat will be added manually so let's uh, click on discount text box and go to properties and let's create a text change event for discount so click on this event thunder icon and double click on text change so we have successfully created an event uh, to calculate discount and calculate grand total so first step is to get the value from discount text box it will be a string uh, we will create a string variable first to check if the uh, text box is empty or not so txt discount the text it is only for uh, uh, validation purpose uh, after the validation we will add uh, we will create a decimal type variable and set the value of discount in the next variable decimal variable so if value is equal to is equal to false or not false blank then we will display a error message error message and it will be message box dot so please add discount first and else if the value is not empty then uh, we will uh, get the discount in decimal value so decimal discount is equals to decimal dot parse and txt discount dot text so we obtained the value of discount in two different places which is string value and decimal discount string value holds the string variable and it is only used for uh, checking purpose or validation purpose but the discount in decimal uh, variable uh, will be used to calculate the grand total so we will calculate the grand total so CL calculate the grand total based on discount so decimal total is equals to we will use the formula which is 100 minus discount and divided by 100 and uh, we need a parenthesis and multiplied by subtotal we also need to get a subtotal here so let's get subtotal also so decimal subtotal is equals to t uh, decimal dot parse txt subtotal dot text so that's it and here we will multiply by subtotal so that's it so this is the formula to calculate the grand total uh, after discount uh, so this is it now we need to display the grand total in text box so display the grand total total in text box so 
txt grand total dot text is equals to grand total dot to string so that's it let's check it out if it is calculated or not i'll just click on start and login with user credentials which is user user and user type is user and login login successful purchase form and search for two and quantity three add another one is three quantity four add now let's uh, we have to, uh, our subtotal is 134 and let's calculate the grand total i'll give uh, 5% discount so after discount the price is 127 5% discount is calculated and our grand total is 127 now we will add VAT here so when we add VAT our grand total must be changed and its value should be increased so let's go to our code view let's close this application let's close this let's close this and let's close this now go to the purchase and sales form and now we need to work with VAT so select the VAT text box go to properties and go to event and click on text change double click on text change event so we created a text change event so first step is to uh, check whether the grand total has a value or not VAT is applied in grand total and again grand total is changed so uh, or VAT is applied to the uh, price after discount so price after discount is grand total so we'll check if we have value on grand total or not if we do not have value on grand total uh, that means we haven't applied any discount so first we need to apply discount then we'll apply VAT so grand total needs to have some value in order to apply VAT so let's go to the code view and let's check if the grand total has value or not if it if it has not value then calculate the discount first first so uh string check is equals to txt grand total dot text and then if check is equals is equals to blank then we will display the message the error message display the error message to calculate discount so message box dot so calculate the discount calculate the discount and set the grand total total first and then else if the check is not blank or the grand total has some value then calculate VAT so getting the VAT percent first so decimal VAT is equals to decimal dot parse and then txt VAT dot text and then we will calculate the grand total now so decimal grand total is equals to 100 plus VAT and again another parenthesis open and here divided by 100 and multiply by uh, we need to multiply by previous grand total so we also need to uh, get the previous grand total so decimal previous GT previous GT means grand total is equals to decimal dot parse txt grand total dot text 
so here we will multiply with previous grand total so that's it so this is cal calculate the new grand total with VAT this is grand total let's say with VAT so I think we have error here 1 2 1 2 we don't need this one so we need to display the new grand total with VAT so displaying new grand total with VAT thus um, txt grand total dot text is equals to and uh, it will be grand total with VAT dot to string so this is it now we have successfully uh, added a code to calculate uh, a grand total with bat so let's check it out by pressing start user 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 type is user login okay purchase and let's add product 3 quantity will be 2 add 4 quantity will be 5 add so this is subtotal discount I'll give 3% discount 523 let's add VAT 10% uh, VAT so it increased the amount of price so we have successfully calculated uh, grand total with VAT and discount now we need to calculate the return amount uh, when the customer pays the amount like uh, uh, the grand total is 581.94 but when my customer pays 1000 rupees we need to display return amount so too so let's uh, work on that so i'll just close this and close this and close this and close this let's go to our process and sales form and we need to uh, calculate the return amount based on the amount paid by customer so we have to work on paid amount text box so select the paid amount text box go to properties and click on thunder icon and click on double click on text change event so we are here so get the paid amount and grand total so decimal grand total is equals to t or first decimal dot pass we need to convert it to decimal so txt grand total dot text and then decimal paid amount is equals to decimal dot parse txt paid amount dot text so that's is now let's create another variable decimal return amount amount is equals to paid amount minus grand total so that's it guys now we need to display the return as well so display the return amount as well so uh, txt return amount dot text is equals to return amount dot to string so that's it guys so let's check it out by pressing ctrl and s we save it and let's press on start and let's check it out if it works or not i'll user password is user user type is user and let's log in and log in successful purchase search for product to four add three or four and then three add now calculate discount uh, three five percent discount bad thirteen percent calculated grand total is four hundred three now uh, let's say the customer will pay five hundred rupees so the return amount is the amount we need to return is 96 rupees so that's it guys we have successfully calculated uh, grand total after discount VAT and we also calculated a return amount when a customer pays certain amount uh, in our purchase or sales form in the next video we will add a functionality to save all these transactions so when we click on this save button we will uh, save the summary of this transaction which is uh, grand total uh, and the uh, uh, product purchased by uh, customer and added date uh, in uh, transaction table and we will add the all of details like what product is bought on that day in transaction detail table 
so uh, the next one which is the which, uh, the next tutorial which be the uh, most important and the final tutorial of this series so don't forget to watch that so this is it guys thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, and also click on bell icon so you will get notified when i uh, update new videos uh, and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible till then see you soon bye bye